Cowboys are getting ready. Of course, they've got a lot of getting ready to do, but they are getting ready. Aren't they? And they're not taking any chances. Remember when the Bucks lost, uh, <laughs> right. you know, Mr. Bo Jackson to baseball? Well, right. they've got them all signed now. You don't have to worry about anything. Again, the Dallas Cowboys make it official. They have quarterback Troy Aikman all signed, sealed, and delivered. Again, they didn't want to take any chances. Aikman couldn't turn down a multi-million dollar deal that'll make him the highest paid rookie in the history of the NFL. That includes Vinny's six-year $8.2 million contract. Aikman has it all, the size, the speed, and great arm, and he'll be the man that'll bring the Cowboys back to respectability. Pretty much a dream come true for me. Uh, I made no secrets about the fact that I would love to play for the Dallas Cowboys. Early as early as last year and uh, this happening over the, the last uh, few weeks and having the chance to come here and finalizing the deal today and being a Dallas Cowboy, uh, it, it's beyond words for me. Now the draft is set for Sunday. The Bucks have pick number six in the opening round and there ain't no way, no how that Ray Perkins is telling anybody what he plans to do until Sunday. Now to golf and they're seeing red at Pasadena Country Club. All kinds of low scores after the opening round of the USX Women's Golf Classic. Dave Worth has a report. The big clubhouse is new, and the holes have been renumbered at Pasadena, but the first round scores are the same, low. Lori Garvesey burned it up for an 8-under par 64, and she played some great short iron shots, like this 8-iron into number 4. Garvesey putted just 22 times all day, and her 64 equaled the Pasadena record. The driver was a little bit suspect today. I didn't really hit it solid, but when I missed it, I kept it in the fairway. And I did hit my irons well. But all in all, I, I was uh, a bit surprised that I ended up with 64. Lori West of Greensboro, North Carolina, fired a 65 in the first group of the day. Her best round before that was a 69. I actually missed a couple putts under 10 feet, too. So, you know, I had a fun round today. It was easy. When you, when you hit it like that and play like that, it was great. I mean, I had, it was just fun. Betsy King, who's a two-time winner this year, birdied her last hole to join a group of four at 67, and she did most of it without her 8-iron. She hit a tree with it early in the round. This is actually the first time I've ever done that, and I've been playing golf 23 years, so uh, it's pretty surprising. I've never broken a club in anger, and this is the first time that I've uh, messed one up on a follow-through. Jill Bryles of the University of Miami went as low as 7 under par when she birdied number 14, but she had problems later on and finished in that group at 67. Defending champion Rosie Jones heads a twosome at four under 68 as Parr took a beating in the first round of the USX Classic. At the Pasadena Yacht and Country Club, I'm Dave Worth, Action Sports. Not a tennis and the Eckerd Open and barred more. Gabriella Sabatini is still in the spotlight. Rolled over Isabel Cueto 6-1, 6-1 last night. Sabatini headed, headed for the quarterfinals. Other news so far, Tracy Austin drops her opening round match. And tonight, Natalia Zvereva goes for her spot in the quarterfinals. Now to Cleveland, Major League Baseball. The Boston Red Sox on the top record in the American East. And get this. One game over 500. Oil can boy the strikeout today. The Red Sox also have plenty of offense. This is Nick Asesky with the big two-run homer. Boston wins 5-2. Defensive play of the game. Watch here. Wade Boggs, a drive. Check out the play by Oda B. McDowell. Red Sox go to 7-6. and six. Good enough to lead the American East. Baseball scores from today. Again, Boston a winner. Minnesota rolls over the Tigers. Late scores from last night. Dodgers blank the Reds. And Texas beats Milwaukee by a score of 5-1. Stanley Cup playoffs to, uh, last night. Montreal has a 2-0